a mother in anguish. Of the seven Palestinian men killed early Sunday by an Israeli drone strike, four of them were brothers. In an instant, Ibtissam Darwish's sons were gone. When we speak just hours later, grief is etched all over her face. Everybody knows Israel is about terrorism. They want to kill all Palestinian people. They don't want to spare anyone. They want to annihilate the Palestinian people, whether they are young, civilians or fighters. Even before she lost her children, Ibtissam's unease was growing. I was worried every time they'd go to Janin that they might get killed. Every time. But I never expected to lose them all at once. The airstrike that killed her boys was carried out in the aftermath of an Israeli army raid into Janin. During that raid, a female Israeli soldier was killed when an improvised explosive device went off. Palestinian armed group Janine Brigades claimed responsibility. People we spoke with say when Israeli army vehicles left the city at around 5 in the morning, several Palestinian men, including the four brothers, were standing in this roundabout. They told us all the men were civilians, but that some of them threw rocks and pipe bombs towards the outgoing soldiers. Raids of this nature in Janine are not uncommon. They were already a near daily occurrence even before October 7th. What's far less common is the number of casualties and the impact it's had on one extended family. Abdel Nasser Hanaisha owns a coffee shop across from the attack site. His son, Suhaib, often works alongside him. Abdel Nasser says today, everything changed. I'm still trembling. I'm scared. I'm scared for my children that anything can happen to them. A sense of dread many here feel will only deepen. Mohamed Jamjoum Al Jazeera, Jenin. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.